Welcome to this session. I am Asha and I am going to help you with the following question which says If A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 B is equal to the sets containing elements 3, 4, 5, 6 C contains elements 5, 6, 7, 8 and D is equal to the set containing the elements 7, 8, 9, 10 We have to find the union of these sets. So first let us learn that if we have any two sets A and B, then the union is equal to all those element X which are either in A or in B or in both. So this is the key idea we are going to use in this problem to find the union of these sets. Let us now start with the solution and first we have to find A union B. Now A is the set containing elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 and B is the set containing elements 3, 4, 5 and 6. So A union B will contains all the elements which are either in A or in B or in both. So first we have 1, 2, 3 is in both the sets and 4 is also in both the sets and then 5 and 6. Thus the union of A and B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this completes the first part. And now proceeding on to the second part, where we have to find A union C. Now A is the set which has elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. And C is the set which has elements 5, 6, 7 and 8. And union of A and C will have all those elements which are either in A or in C or in both. So these elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Thus our answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this completes the second part. And now proceeding on to the third part. Here we have to find B union C. Now B is the set having elements 3, 4, 5 and 6 and C has elements 5, 6, 7 and 8. Thus B union C We'll have all the elements which are either in B or in C or in both. So these elements are 3, 4, 5 and 6 are both in the set B also and C also. So we have 5, 6 in the union and 7 and 8. Thus our answer is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Which completes the third part. And now proceeding on to the fourth part. Where we have to find the union of sets B and D. Now set B is 3, 4, 5 and 6. And the set D have elements 7, 8, 9 and 10. So... B union D will have all the elements which are either in B or in D or in both. So these elements are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And thus our answer is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. This completes the fourth part. 
And now proceeding on to the fifth part, here we have to find the union of sets A, B and C. Now here the set A has elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. The set B has elements 3, 4, 5, 6 and the set C has elements 5, 6, 7 and 8. So the union of A, B and C will have all those elements which are either in A or in B or in C or in all three of them or in any two of them. So these elements are 1, 2, 3 and 4 are both in the set A and B. Then we have 5 and 6 which are also both in set B and C. And lastly we have 7 and 8. As the union of A, B and C contains element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So this completes the fifth part. And now proceeding on to the sixth part. Here we have to find the union of A, B and D. Now A is the set which have elements 1, 2, 3 and 4. Set B have elements 3, 4, 5 and 6. And the set D has elements 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now the union of all these three sets will have elements which are either in A, B or C or in all three of them or in any two of them. So these elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So the union have elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this completes the sixth part. And now proceeding on to the last part. Where we have to find the union of B, C and D. Now B have elements 3, 4, 5, 6. Set C have elements 5, 6, 7 and 8 and set D have elements 7, 8, 9 and 10. The union of these three sets will have all the elements which are either in B, C or D or in all three of them or in any two of them. So these elements are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Hence the union of elements 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this completes the last part. This completes the solution. Hope you enjoyed this session. Take care and have a good day.